This video goes over how, what an agent will experience, why they're trying to handle cro uh, calls in the instant agent mode on the track drive uh, system. Uh, so if you end up, when you first log in here, <clears throat> you're in the wrong place. This is your own fully functioning system. And you'll want to be on the company you're trying to work for. So if you see setup and, uh, not set, set up, but if you see too many things here, like setting up integrations and company menus, you're on your own account and not the account that you're trying to work with. Now you may be working for multiple companies using track drive. You would give them the same email address saying, hey, here's my email for being an agent. You might have 10 companies listed here and you would just log into the one you're trying to work with at the time. So that's you right there and that's the company I'm trying to work for. A better representation of that is if you use a little blue man and switch company, you'll get this menu here and it shows that's you there. Of course, mine's a little confusing because this is Track Drive Agent 2 and Track Drive Video Demo logo. Um, but you'd have logos of other companies you're trying to work with. So if you open the right company, you will see you have a much more limited view. That's where you want to be. Now the cell phone online here is going to tell you whether your cell phone's connected or not, or if you're not using a cell phone, this won't have cell phone information here. We can actually forward calls just to a landline and you can process this all on a landline or a cell phone or whatever. Most people, however, do use a cell phone and this would be the setup. So if you click on that button there, it'll have the information you need to connect any soft phone. Um, this is Xlight, which has become Bria. I got to fix our documentation here. Um, but you also have Zoiper or Polycom hard phones that are SIP configurable, all those things. So the information you need is right here and your IT staff can help you with that or Track Drive will help you as well. All right, so now that I'm already connected, I'm ready to take calls. So at the agent home menu, there is this control center. It says beta, but it's no longer beta. We'll get that removed. Um, but that's our, our contact control center. So this is where you handle all your calls. So hey, I'm connected, now I want a phone call. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, call me now. Well, track drive says I can't. You're not in a status that you're ready to do work. You're paused. So simply need to go ahead and say, okay, I wanna be active now. Click the call me now button. If it does, it typically will call you automatically. However, if the system was configured to not call you back the second there's a lead available, um, you won't get a call. So that's what the button here is for is, hey, give me a call. Now it's saying I, I already have one coming because the we were already placing a call to you. So when you see that error message like that, uh, the call was already uh, headed towards you automatically and you click the button at the same time. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer this phone. Now it's asking me uh, for my agent ID. So I'm gonna key in that 8017. and then it'll be ready for me to rock and roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and say ready for next lead. And it's gonna start calling leads for me. So it's ringing someone already. And once they answer, their data will pop up here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill out this data or do whatever I wanna do here. Um, if you are working on multiple scripts, you can change script levels. Um, so sometimes you'll be working on a, a you know, debt settlement, for example, and you might have to switch to uh, uh, credit card or, or to tax debt because the people don't qualify for credit card debt whatever you can switch up here to what script you're working on over here is where you're just running things so let's say a, this one answered and it was a voicemail now if I'm supposed to leave a voicemail I can press leave a voicemail this button won't appear if the company hasn't configured a voicemail to leave behind but if I do press the leave a voicemail button it will leave the voicemail to the consumer but take me on to the next call as that's happening so if I press leave voicemail <coughs> I press leave voicemail. These little buttons here say that it was ready to go to the next lead. So the, any of the ones like this, I already have another lead up, but this is just a, a test anyway. Um, but anything that says it's going to automatically fast forward will give you the next lead automatically. And these are all things that are configurable by the admin of the company you're working for. So if you're like, why are you not just fast forwarding to the next lead on everything? Uh, that's up to them. Sometimes they want you to key in notes, so they want to stop. Uh, maybe schedule call back they want you to do some notes that might require notes there now if you do have a, 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 a disposition that they've configured to say requires notes if I said like disqualified see it does require notes when I click disqualified it won't let me go on to the next lead until I fill in the notes if I filled in notes during the call and then I'm clicking that button to disqualify the lead it knows I already have notes and will move on. However, if you do not have notes and notes are required, it will stop to make sure you, you key in notes. 
Um, but in a nutshell, that's how you will config or how you'll disposition each call as you're going through it. <coughs> now, let's say I got through this interview, and the person's ready to talk to a buyer. All I have to do is click Find a Buyer. You know, I don't know if I have any buyers configured. I don't. <coughs> um, but this is telling me to go find a buyer. Now, if it comes back and says Find another buyer, find another buyer. So I press Find a Buyer. And it, you know, I hear a voicemail or I hear a hold queue, and I, I wait out the hold queue just a little bit, and I'm like, nah, I can't wait that long, I'm going to lose this client. This would have find another buyer, and then find another buyer until eventually it goes through all buyers, and I don't have any buyers configured. So it would have a reset find a buyer. So try them again. If you already heard a hold queue, then you know you can start over and get back to that hold queue and see if someone will pick up. Um, if it's if you think you're going to lose the client, of course. You can always schedule a callback, no big deal, that's easy. Click that, schedule callback, then you just click I scheduled a callback. Um, you can mute the lead as you're transferring it, so let's say I got a buyer before I went to find a buyer. I mute the lead, I click find a buyer, now the, the, the lead leg can't hear our conversation, so I might be running through the script saying here's John Doe, he's got this phone number and he has this much debt, let's say whatever, this student loan here, whatever. So then I would unmute the lead <coughs> to say, hey, I've uh, introduced you to uh, Mr. Jones here. You guys can carry on. And then you just say, I did a successful transfer. So I click this button. It moved me on to the next lead, but take me out of the conference, leaving the buyer and the consumer on another conference. So if I click that button that I had a successful transfer, now you'll notice here that these buttons tell you what they're doing. So when I click successful transfer, it says I'm going to go to the next lead, but it's also going to remove the consumer from the schedule. So I don't keep calling them because I had a successful transfer. Okay, so now it's going to move on. So this is in a nutshell what's what's happening here is that you have photo control, a single click to get out, uh, the leads will appear here, um, and you just do your job working through all that stuff. If you have any other questions, reach out to support at tracktrive.net.